Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This particular one does have the night appearance package and it has the black paint, meaning this thing is truly blacked out. Starting off up front, you're gonna have your standard halogen high beams and low beams as well as your turn signal indicator with your black headlight bezels. Blacked out front grille. Parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. You also have your halogen fog lights right here. Coming up around to the hood, you have your fully blacked out 1500 5.7 liter Hemi badge. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a really nice blacked out 20 inch wheel on some Bridgestone Dueler HLs. And the tire size is a 275-55 R20. Splash guards right here to protect against rock chips and uh, mud. Blacked out Ram badge. Color matched mirror cap with puddle lights right underneath. Absolutely massive rear door for the crew cab. Again, you have your splash guards right here and in front to protect against rock chips and corrosion. I love the wheel and tire setup on this vehicle. Looks like you also get the uh, rear uh, wheel well liners. Color matched bumper. You also have blacked out exhaust tips. This does have dual exhaust. You have your standard four pin and seven pin connectors right here. LED uh, license plate lights blacked out Ram badge, blacked out Bighorn badge. Backup camera is right here. Very nice halogen lights. I do love the look of the halogen tail lights on these trucks. Coming around to the side, again, there's a side profile. Right here we have your capless fuel fill port. Third brake light radio antenna up top. You also have the blind spot mirrors on both driver and passenger sides. Overall, very pretty looking exterior of the truck. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the interior. So even though this truck is a four x four, it is still very easy to get into. You have a nice grab handle right here. And with this particular one, they do include the Ram floor liners from the factory. Getting up and in. Starting off over here on the left side of the steering wheel, we have your lock and unlock buttons, window locks, rear window controls, and the front two window controls are automatic up and down. And then above that, we have the controls for the exterior mirrors. Really nice brushed silver looking trim throughout. Bighorn does a very nice job giving you soft touch materials at a really good uh, price. Over here we have the lighting controls for the exterior lights of the vehicle. To the right of that we have the dimmer switch for the interior lights. Right here we have your electronic parking brake. And then to the right of that we have your power adjustable pedals. Coming to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel on this big horn. It is manual tilt and telescoping right here. We have the control pad for the touch screen display which I will turn the truck on so we can see. Touch, uh, touch pad or control pad for the center display, which in my opinion is the best currently um, in the industry. Tons of parameters you can monitor. You can change all four corners. You can also change what you're viewing over here as well. Hands-free call buttons to the right of the control pad. Over here we have your cruise control settings and then your manual gear limit buttons right here. Just like on all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker in the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. 2020, uh, I think actually 2019 started the push button start on all trim levels, so including the Tradesman and Bighorn, you do get push button start. Rotary dial shifter right here. Um, some people don't like it. Honestly, I think it's amazing. Saves a lot of space, especially 
for gas vehicles anyway. If you have a big diesel truck, I prefer the manual shifter right here. However, the rotary shifter um, saves space out of the way. And then you have your push button transfer case right here, two wheel drive, four auto, four high, and four low. Coming up top, we have a nice shallow storage tray right here with a 12 volt outlet to the right of it. Very nice, um, it almost looks like a marble or granite finish. Uh, however, it is plastic, but it looks um, very elegant. That brings us to the touchscreen display. Uh, very high quality, very high resolution, very responsive to the touch as well. There is a factory um, screen protector on here, and as you can see, I still am able to touch it, and it goes there right away. Uh, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you can see how high quality and high definition the backup camera on this vehicle is. This does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Here are the physical buttons for the radio, as well as your seek scan buttons. You have your mute button and then your screen off button. So if the screen is too bright at night, uh, you can turn it off to reduce the glare. Below that we have your heated driver and passenger seats. And then your heated steering wheel button is in the middle. Right here we have your dual zone climate control for the vehicle. Under that we have your traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off and parking sensors for the front off. Traditionally, this is where the CD player would be, but this particular one opted to give you a storage cubby right there. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as a uh, auxiliary jack. Right here we have your phone storage tray. Under that we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet, which brings us back to the configurable center console. You can configure this in three different settings. This is the first one giving you access to two cup holders, change storage, as well as um, another storage tray right here. Push it back to the next one, giving you access to just the cup holders. And then again, the third one, giving you deep access to the storage tray down here. If you lift up on this first uh, clip right here, you'll get access to a storage bin with a USB plug and dimple for cord management. So if you want to charge a phone, you can run the cord through here and have access to it. Lift up on the deeper clip, giving us access to the deep storage bin right there. Little Easter egg for you guys. You have some trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversions, as well as fraction to decimal conversions. Very cool that RAM decided to include that. I don't know how well you'll be able to see down there, but on this little divider right here, they have each generation of Ram truck as well. Here's a closer look at the Bighorn cloth seats for this vehicle. Again, your uh, uh, floor mats are included. Your first glove compartment right here, uh, pretty big I'd say for this size of vehicle. Then you have your upper glove compartment with your Bighorn logo on it. Push this button and it is LED lit. That brings us up to the vanity. It is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. The driver's side does have a three door universal garage remote opener right here, if the camera will focus. There we go. Right here we have your halogen dome map light controls. Right here we have the button to control the power sliding rear window. In front of that, we have a glasses storage bin. And then right here, we have the new for uh, 2021 rear view mirror. I believe this one is auto dimming and it is very sleek in design. Overall, I'm impressed with the interior of this truck. I think Ram um, with their new fifth gen definitely knocked it out of the park. Awesome LCD display, awesome touch screen tons of space, uh, tons of storage in here, very comfortable. With that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I wanna show you guys, these seats do still fold up. This is the individual seat on the driver's side and the passenger side is a double uh, seat. Load flat floor, no transmission hump, which means loading big items such as TVs you may not necessarily want in the bed is very easy. Again, nice floor liners that go underneath the front seat and go underneath the rear seats with a lip 
So if you do spill a beverage back here, it will stay on the floor liner. And then you also have the second generation in-floor storage bins offered by Ram. Uh, these are removable, so if you want to put ice or whatever in there to keep uh, cans cool, you can. You have centimeters on the short side and inches on the long side. And that is on both driver and passenger side. Putting the seats down is easy, and then getting in again is very easy with the handle. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid 10 inches to a foot of leg room before my knees hit. I am 5'11", if that helps anybody out there. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here with cutout for tablet storage. So if you have kids in the back and you wanna keep them entertained while you're driving, plop your tablet right there and all three rear passengers can see. Storage cubby right here. Again, two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Very generous sized HVAC vents for the rear passengers as well. The center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then you have hanger hooks integrated on both driver and passenger sides. And then your standard halogen dome map light is right up top. Tons of space back here. Uh, this is definitely a truck I could see myself going on a long road trip in and being very comfortable. Let's take a look at the bed real quick. So this being a big horn, there's only one way to release the tailgate on this vehicle, and that is to come up to it, push the button, and it is uh, assisted, and it is extremely light. I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, so that means the hood, all the doors, and the tailgate. This truck does have four tie-down points, one in each corner, as well as the option for uh, bed lighting. To put the tailgate up, I can take two fingers, slam it home, and the tailgate is up. Let's take a closer look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this 2021. Uh, there is some tint on the rear windows, so I will go over the key components. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $43,290. It has the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, mated to a eight-speed automatic transmission. Your standard equipment is going to be in this rectangle right here. The optional equipment is gonna start on this side and transfer over into this rectangle right here. Most notably, we have the night edition package for $1,995, the Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group for $2,500, and then the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 is a $1,795 upcharge. The total bait price of this vehicle is $51,705. And the fuel economy rating is in this rectangle right here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Now, a lot of people watch my videos and say, total price, MSRP, that's a high number. Why is it so high? Um, unfortunately, that's just how uh, it is, especially with the truck market. Uh, consumers are willing to pay the prices the companies are charging, so companies will continue charging those prices. You can, however, get this price greatly reduced depending on what rebates, discounts, and incentives you qualify for, and depending on what time of year you buy. Uh, in this truck case, if you buy during truck month, you will qualify for a lot more discounts, rebates, and incentives than normal. If you can also get a friends and family or employee discount, you can bring the price of this truck considerably down. I wanna give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this particular vehicle or any of the new 2021 Ram series of vehicles, including 1500, 2500, 3500, and Promaster, they are getting a ton on the lot right now. Um, I know with everything currently going on, it has been very difficult for uh, manufacturers to keep their inventory 
inventory stocked. However, Ram is doing a really good job and they have a bunch of 2021s on the lot now and are hitting the lot within the coming weeks. I will be putting all of the contact info in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.